Hi, it's Kalea Sam. Um, I'm here to talk about my special project that I'll be doing for Kinesiology 172. Um, I'm talking about how I got into rowing um, at Sacramento State. So I live in Hawaii. I'm from Hawaii. I grew up playing all sports, all sorts of things, soccer, basketball, baseball. I did all of it. I even ran on a track team for a little bit. It's not really good. Um, I got into paddling, um, six-man outer canoe paddling, as pictured here. That's a picture from high school. I got started when I was about eight or nine in a little winter league that we had going just for fun. My dad was a coach, which was cool. Um, so I got started then. I paddled during the summer seasons, all that sort of stuff. I did it all through high school. Um, broke a state record in high school, which is still standing to that day, which I'm very proud of, and I know my school is as well. Um, I got into rowing through paddling at home in Hawaii. So there was some girls that are a little bit older than me from other schools that had gotten into rowing through paddling because some of the coaches from collegiate rowing programs would come down to our summer races and try and recruit, try and scout girls to see if maybe it would translate well because there was history of girls coming out of outrigger canoe paddling and transitioning well into rowing. Um, I also kayaked in high school, um, competitive kayaking, like super fast speed kayaking. So those combination of paddling and kayaking combined really well into transitioning to rowing. Although you are going the opposite direction in rowing, it's still basic body mechanics of using your legs and your back mostly um, for the exercise. So I figured it might be an easy enough transition um, from paddling and all my experience paddling, kayaking, and all my other experience in sports, I would figure that rowing should be something that I could excel at, be interested in, look into, such and such. So when it came to apply for colleges, I wasn't necessarily looking for a school that had rowing at first. At first, that's the thing. At first, I was thinking, I don't, I don't want to pra or do a collegiate sport. I've been participating in sports for the past 18 years. Well, not 18 years, because I can't <laughs> practice when I'm a baby. But I've been doing sports since I was three. So for about 15, 14-ish years, I've been athletic. And I was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be in sports in college. I don't think that'll fit me. So I started applying to schools. I applied to all, like a lot of the sat or the California state schools. Um, I got into all of them. I applied to some other schools, SDSU, some schools in Washington, Western Oregon, such and such. Um, I got into all the schools I applied to. I was really grateful. I was um, touring schools. Some of them felt good. Some of them didn't. Um, some of them you just kind of walk on and you realize I don't like the vibe. Like the vibe didn't really match what I was looking for, just some other random things, like it was a commuter school and I didn't really want a commuter school. Um, other factors played in, such as my major. I already knew what I wanted to do. So I knew I wanted to be a teacher, I knew I wanted to teach elementary education, and I was looking for a school that had all of that for me. And another thing I really was looking for was a school that was a part of the WUI program. WUI stands for Western Undergraduate Exchange, and Sac State was one of them. So the schools along the West Coast have this agreement between all the states that they will have um, a tuition for out-of-state students that will be somewhat similar to in-state tuition. So that dropped my huge out-of-state tuition costs down to something that was more manageable for me and my family and what we could afford for my education. Um, and it just so happened that Sacramento State had a rowing program. And I wasn't really looking into rowing because I was not really feeling like I needed to row or practice the sport in college because I figured, you know, it's a different part of my life. I can do it. Uh, maybe I can find something else to do. So I um, toured the campus just initially kind of not looking at the rowing program and 
then I got to thinking, I was like, you know, it, if it just so happens that I might, like, walk onto the team because that is something that you can do at Sacramento State and a lot of other Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, any rowing program collegiately, you can walk on because people in the rowing program in college have faith in the ability to bring people up to the standards that they should be at for a collegiate rowing program. So I figured, oh, I could I could possibly walk on. Who knows? Like, it could work for me. I, it could not. I could just end up being a normal student, doing my day-to-day -day stuff. So I was, it had, I had it in the back of my head, like, oh, maybe I could row. And then I got to thinking a little bit more. I was like, you know, maybe I might be wrong about all this. I might, I might need sports. I might need to have that structure that I've had for the past years and years of my schooling. I might need to have rowing as a part of my day-to-day -day life in college. So I tried to start getting into contact with um, the coaches that I thought some programs might accept me for, um, and I was looking to get recruited. So my mentality switched from I'm not going to be playing sports in college to, okay, I'm going to look into rowing in college. So I contacted the coaches at SDSU and Sacramento State specifically, which is what I can remember mostly. I'm sure I contacted other coaches as well, but I basically just created a academic resume of all of my achievements and other such things that I've accomplished in the past however many years that I thought might prove that I was good enough, quote unquote, for rowing collegiately. I didn't ever erg before, I didn't know what an erg was, and to this day I don't really like it all that much, um, but I just sent in some stats sometimes some of my accolades that I thought would be impressive, I guess, to the coaches, and I just waited for a response. And I was leaning a little bit more towards Sacramento State than I was to San Diego State because San Diego State did not have the WUI program. Um, I was more leaning towards Sacramento State because I also had family near there, and I was just feeling a little bit more comfortable with the whole situation if I were to go to Sacramento State because they had the WUI program, they had my major, I really liked the campus, and it had rowing. So it all just came together. And then the coach didn't get back with me, didn't respond to my emails, and I was like, huh, that's weird. So I sent it again, no response. I was very persistent because I, I wanted to get in contact just to see like what would happen. And I think it was maybe the third time that I emailed the coach, Coach Mike Connors, who is now my coach. Um, he responded back to me, didn't really say anything too particular, but he was basically like, okay, yeah, we'll give it a shot, and put me on an email list with other girls that were getting recruited at the same time. Um, I did come in to Sacramento State Rowing Program with no scholarship, and there is always a possibility of getting a scholarship, which is one of the reasons why so many of the girls that I grew up paddling with suggested that I get into rowing, because you could get an athletic scholarship and help reduce the cost of getting your education. So I came in my first year as a recruited freshman, but on no scholarship. I ended up really liking it. It was really cool getting to know all of the techniques that were so different from what I had known my entire life of paddling and kayaking. Um, it was very interesting learning how to move my body to adjust to rowing. Um, and the funny thing is, before I even had started rowing at Sacramento State, I had zero experience in a boat. I had never been in a rowing shell. I had never even touched an oar because in paddling, you just call it a paddle. It's not called an oar. I had never gone backwards in a boat. It was the weirdest thing to me. Um, the only sort of um, experience I had in rowing was like a four-week summer camp that I did with my younger cousin um, out of a really small um, club um, in the town kind of far away from me that I was like, oh, I might as well just get in and try and see what's going to happen when I fly up there and have never done this before. Um, nothing, nothing near what I do now. We never got our blades off the water. We really didn't 
do much other than just paddle around and no technique work we didn't do any drills we were really just paddling around to get the hang of what rowing would feel like um so that's all i knew coming in and throughout my first year i learned and learned and learned all these new things and i realized oh my gosh i really love this it's really great and it kind of clicked with me at my end of the year meeting with my coach mike um when he offered me a scholarship to come back my sophomore year which was insane to me because i was like oh my gosh i came onto this team with no experience along with other girls that had been recruited out of other sports like soccer track basketball football like n these other girls didn't have any experience either and i got offer offered a scholarship along with other girls as well and i thought wow like that's that's insane it, it really did pay off like I'm enjoying rowing. I made the right decision to to try and get into rowing in college, even though I thought my senior year of high school, I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. I realized then that I it all paid off. Not to be punny, but it it did pay off because I got a scholarship and it 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 did a lot for me and my family. And I'm really grateful to the Sacramento State rowing program and athletics program for you know, taking taking a shot on me and trusting the process that I would learn how to row from never knowing what it was before. Um, and it's crazy because now I'm a junior, going to be a senior, going into my final year of rowing. And I just had recently spoke to my high school paddling team, so all the girls there now, um, I spoke to them about paddling and how I got from paddling into rowing and I just talked about the program and how if they had any questions about the transition, if they were interested in possibly rowing in college, how it would be worth it and how even though you think there's not an avenue for you in sports in college, there is a way. You can You can row and it's it's pretty easy. You can walk onto a team. It's not that bad. And I, I just basically broke it down like I am now. I broke down all the steps of what I did to get where I am now with my coach and my team. But it really does pay off in the end because I, I love it. It's great. It keeps me in shape. I had built in friends automatically. I mean, majority of my friends are on my team and with other sports. And I really, honestly, I don't think I could be going to school right now if I didn't have rowing and the athletic department and our student resource center through athletics, um, that they give us so much opportunity to excel in school. And we have all of these resources that I could have never had as a student without rowing. I have a counselor just built in with the athletic center where I can email them automatically and within a day or so they'll respond back with an email saying how I can fix it, if I should do one route or another route, um, on top of all of our other academic normal um, counselors. So I would say that getting into the rowing program at Sacramento State was one of the best decisions that I've made for myself in my adult life. Um, it really gave me an opportunity to continue to do what I love, which is sports and working out and keeping up my physical health, which is so important to me. Um, but I just think that rowing is a great option for people, boys, girls, whoever, um, that don't really know if they want to do a sport in college or, you know, whatever, like just join because you want to, because it looks interesting. And it's, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's not easy. The training's really hard. The training is really hard. But you can walk on, try it out, see how you like it. And it, you really gain a lot. You gain a lot of friendship and you gain a lot of mental strength. I can guarantee that. You gain a lot of mental strength to talk about the state. Rowing, any other rowing program, I really think it benef it's super beneficial. Um, and that's, that's my story. That's where I'm at. Um, past three years have been great.
I really loved it and I'm hoping once all the coronavirus passes that next fall going into the spring into our fall season that my senior year my final year will be the best year of rowing that I've had. Thanks.